Welcome back everyone. The past few weeks I've been introducing some of Korea's most important entertainment agencies and today we'll be doing the same and we have two companies which are forerunners when it comes to the K-pop industry. The first one I'm talking about SM Entertainment and of course you probably know them very well. They have Super Junior, Girls Generation and also XO. And on the other side we also have YG Entertainment with 2NE1, Big Bang and Psy. More details. This is our third segment of learning more about Korean management firms. Today, we'll find out about SM Entertainment and YG Entertainment, the two prominent rivals in the Korean music industry. Lee Soo Man debuted as a singer in 1972 and received a lot of love. In February of 1989, he founded SM Entertainment using the initials of his first name and jumped into the management business. Singer Hyun Jin Young was SM Entertainment's first singer. The company started focusing on its producer, Yoo Young Jin, and made it big with the success of the group HOT, which drew a lot of fans, and thus, it became an agency centered on idol stars. The first generation idol groups like HOT, SES, and Xinhua all became huge successes in this agency, and SM Entertainment became the first agency to start a method of idol training and started a new history. HOT is the beginning of idol groups, but there was Hatechi and the boys in the past. This group was known as the cultural president and it brought about huge changes not just in the Korean music industry but also in popular culture. And in this group was member Yang Hyun Suk. <laughs> After the breakup of Sateji and the boys, Yang Yan Suk set up an agency in 1996. And the first group the agency produced was a three-member hip-hop group called Keep Six. But it was shut down by the public, and the company had a loss of 3 billion won, or approximately 2.8 million US dollars. Despite its failure, the agency continued on and didn't give up its dream of becoming a producer. It changed its name to YG Entertainment and created the group Chinushan. Since then, it released many talented musicians like One Time, Seven, Kami and Huizong. SM이 조금 더 규율이 강하고 뭔가 좀 기획이 강한 스타일이라면 YG는 자유분방하게 풀어준다는 느낌. SM이 정통 아이돌 같은 느낌이라면 YG는 좀더 아티스트 내지는 뮤지션의 느낌이 강한 변칙 아이돌 같은 느낌. SM released many typical idol stars like Dongbang Shingi, Super Junior, Shiny, and Girls Generation who were created through thorough planning. But YG Entertainment chose hip-hop as its musical genre, so it produced groups like Big Bang and 21, whose musicality stood out. YG Entertainment showed its power in K-pop last year. It was the Gangnam Style craze by singer Psy. Through this musician, Yang Yang Suk of YG pushed Lee Soo Man aside and became the number one celebrity who was rich in stocks. 원래 우리나라 기획사 중에서 SM의 위상이 절대적이었습니다. 그러다가 YG가 SM과 양대라고 할 정도로 급속히 위상이 성장하게 된 이유가 Psy 씨가 미국에서 대박을 터뜨렸기 때문에 그렇게 된 겁니다. 
but we can neglect the power of SM Entertainment. Last year, the French fans held a unique demonstration where they sang and danced along to Super Junior's hit, Sorry Sorry, demanding extra performance, and all the seats were sold out in just 15 minutes flat. Illegal tickets were sold at 1.2 million won, or approximately 1,100 US dollars, proving the power of K-pop in Europe. SM Entertainment produced EXO, which became the top idol group. This group received most of the awards at the end of the year award ceremonies and dominated the K-pop industry. SM recently signed a merger with Urim Entertainment, which is home to the group Infinite. The agency also signed contracts with actors Chang Dong Gun, Kim An Il, Kong Yeon Jin, Kim Soo Do, and others. YG Entertainment also signed with actors Cha Sung Won, Chang Hyun Sung, Im Ye Jin, and others. In 2009, SM started drama production with No Limit, but ironically, all of its dramas including Paradise Ranch, To the Beautiful You, and the currently airing dramas The Prime Minister and I, and Miss Korea, all have one-digit viewer ratings. SM과 관련이 있는 드라마들의 성적이 너무 안 좋기 때문에 SM은 가수 쪽에서는 손만 대면 족 손만 대면 대 히트를 시키는 리더스의 손이지만 드라마 쪽은 손만 대면 망하는 거 아니냐 이런 말들이 요즘에 나오고 있는 건데 이것은 SM 쪽이 너무 드라마를 팬시 사품처럼 예쁘게만 만들려고 하고 인력 풀을 폐쇄적으로 자기네 사람들 위주로만 하려고 하다 보니까 이런 일종의 시행착오가 나타나는 것으로 보이고요. 그런데 SM이 앞으로 지금 그러니까 드라마 시장에 진입하는 초기 단계의 시행착오고 SM의 기획력이 제대로 발동되기 시작하면 결국에는 드라마 쪽에서도 여러 가지 히트작이 나올 수 있을 것 같습니다. SM and YG Entertainment Agencies are branching out into new sectors like movies and dramas along with this influence in the K-pop world. Both agencies will create new rookie groups this year and there is the comeback of top stars like Psy and Girls' Generation. We can look forward to the changes the two agencies will bring into the K-pop industry this year.